Are you ready, Watts? Are you ready? You got that right, Bebop. Are you ready to draw? Are you guys ready to draw? Yeah. Come and draw with us. Yeah. What should we draw today? You want to draw an octopus? A big one. Okay, so let's start with a big head. So we're going to draw a big circle and we're going to have it not closed. We're going to have it open at the bottom. Ready? So maybe about here, we're going to have a big... Wait, wait how? Yeah, I'd say. A big... Look at that. Yeah. That is a great octopus head. Okay, so tentacle number one coming up. So let's let's go down here and we're gonna draw draw a big wiggly leg. Yep, yeah. that's a good one. Now now we gotta draw more legs, don't we? Should we draw a bunch more legs? Let's draw one coming out over here. And another one down here. And let's draw one coming out over here. And one coming out down here. You can kind of have fun with the legs. Just make sure that you have eight legs. Octopus, octo, means eight. How many legs do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Veda, good one. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta get two more in there. Let's do one back here. Seven, and I'll do one over here after we're done. Should we have this octopus reading a book? Three books? Yeah. Whoa, let's see if we can fit three books in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this leg that came out over here and I'm gonna draw a book. So I'm gonna draw one side of the book. He's gonna be kind of holding it. And then the back of the book. It's yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What book is he reading? I don't draw um I've just said we draw a unicorn friend. A unicorn book? Is that the book he's reading? And then maybe do a few pages in there. It's kind of like that. And then one kind of like that. Like he is reading a really neat book. Oh, I like that guy. So I've only got seven legs on my octopus. Veda, do I need to draw one more leg? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw another leg over here. Okay, now here's the fun part. Now we gotta draw all the little bubbles. They're little tentacle bubbles. Ready? So you can draw a bunch of little circles on his legs. Oh yeah, this is what makes an octopus kind of suction-y. He can grab onto things like a book. That's why octopuses are so good at reading books because they use their tentacles and their suction tentacles to grab the book and hold it in place so they can read it. Those look great. I gotta catch up. All the little tentacle bubbles. I just have one more. You're doing good, hey? Do you wish? I win. You totally win. Veda, what would you do if you were an octopus? Read books. You would read books? Mm -hmm. What would your book be about? A unicorn. I saw the unicorn. To read a book, you kind of need to look at the book. So this octopus needs some eyes. So let's have him, I'm gonna have, cause, cause I've got his book on this side, I'm gonna have his eyes kind of on this side. So let's draw, let's draw some eyes like Zola does. Let's draw a big eye there and a big eye here. And I'm gonna draw his eyes looking down cause he's looking at the book. So a little circle yeah, inside. I just need Different so, but yeah. that's fun. And everybody draws eyes a little different because all eyes are different. Uh, are you going to do some eyelashes on there? Oh, should I? And let's draw 
is, does he need a big happy mouth? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that happy little octopus. Oh, I like the eyelashes on that guy. Now, do you want to have some spots on his head? Let's draw some spots on this little octopus. Draw a few circles in there. Almost like little moon craters. That's fun, hey? Look at that little guy. Should we draw some bubbles in the water? Do you know what I mean? That's how octopuses sound when they talk underwater. Look at this. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yep, all the way around. There's water everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna draw some books floating around. Like, he loves books. Yeah, I can see, I can, um, Look at this little book, and then those are the pages. And then we have to draw some lines down here to draw the other pages behind. And then we've got a book. And then maybe another book here. This one's going to be closed. But it's just floating around. Right, and then a line up the back of the book. Mm -hmm. And then should we do one more book over here that's open? I kind of like the open books. We're going to draw a line. You want to draw a line? Mm -hmm. Okay. Find a spot for your book. Yep. Mine? And then at the top of the line, we're going to go out and over, kind of a little curvy. Going that way, the top and the bottom. I want mine to be a book. That's a great idea. I want my book to be a book, too. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the same curvy line, out like that, and then we have to draw a line just connecting those curvy lines, and those are our pages, and then we can draw the pages behind, coming out, there we go. And I think I need one more book. Is mine a Oh, Vita, it looks so beautiful. I'm going to draw one more book here, so kind of a big rectangle, and then it's going to go down on this side, and down on this side, and down on this side. And then we're going to draw the back of the book up like that, and some pages. I think that's done. Yeah? Yep. But well, I don't have room for me. What about writing your name right in here? And I'll write my name on mine, too. Yeah. Oh, I like how you're doing your name down. That's awesome. And I got one big question for you. What do you call your drawing? Mm, fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy the octopus reader. No, a bubble. Bubble. That sounds like a great name. Cheers. Pew, 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 pew. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. And goodbye. Goodbye.